Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS. Now, it's real time. Sponsored by the Mill Casino. Welcome back, everyone. Now, cross your fingers that technology works for us. Sometimes it's good to get away from technology, but right now, we need it. We got Big Dave Manners on the line. And look at that pretty face, that big smile. Dave, how you doing, man? Well, we're, uh, we're experiencing the moisture here today. Um, <laughs> it's here. It's raining. It's raining. I'm, I've got two rain jackets on. Well, <laughs> you've got to have been waiting for this to happen, haven't you? Yeah, you know, we've uh, been having a great time in the sled in the nicer weather, but yes, it is that time of year, and, and uh, time to start thinking about getting the drift boats out, and we'll see what happens with this rain, and and um, yeah, there's still, you know, there's still some fish uh, in the bay, you know, but uh, yeah, it's it's that time of year, probably start moving up into the estuaries, and, and um, yeah, eventually into the river once we get some water. I know there's some coming, but yeah. Um, usually does this you know we'll get a little shot it'll come up a little bit and it'll usually go back down for a minute but we'll see maybe this is a real deal and and it's going to get up and we'll be able to yeah be up there overall to this point it's the end of october now how's the season been in that north coast area that you spend your time yeah it's been good um pretty pretty solid season uh right when i got back from alaska i started fishing got fish the first day back in but yeah pretty pretty solid season here you know it's only a two fish limit uh, in the area that I fish, so you know that's one thing. But um, yeah, it's been a it's been a it's been a solid season overall. Uh, this morning, have you seen much happen? Has this different weather system turned the fish on, turned them off? How's it looking for you well, today? Oh yeah, it uh, it it's a ghost town out here at the moment. Um, haven't seen a net fly. There's there's some boats, not a ton of boats. I think probably the weather might have scared a few off and brought a few in, <laughs> but. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything happen yet this morning. We're still a good hour and a half or so away from our from our tide. Um, and we'll have some outgoing tide, and that's usually when I'm getting them a little bit better. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, but there's there's still a few out here. There's still a few out here. And the one thing is, is the ones you'll find out here now are all going to be brand new, real nice ones. So that's what we're looking for. Well, now, Dave, I got to say it this way. I mean, I, I get a lot of reports or a lot of questions from folks. They're like, what's going on? What's going on? And my response has been pretty simple. With no rain uh, or stink in the system to get fish to move, they're just pretty much not going to move. Are, uh, is this something that, as a guide, makes you very excited about what you got to look forward to the next couple of weeks going into uh, November? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it would be nice for us to have a, you know, a, a, a normal water year, let's say where we're getting rain and the rivers are up where, you know, we've had, had some pretty low water, um, over these last few years. So yeah, you know, changing tactics and, and all that, but yeah, definitely, uh, ready for some rain and, and, and yes, looking forward to, to getting back in the river, you know, wearing the waders and all that. Yeah. No kidding. So you haven't even broke out that boat of yours yet, your drift boat. Well, I might've been in there a few times. Um, I've been, I've been in it a couple of times. Um, actually I was in there, I was in it yesterday actually, and, and found some darker fish up in the estuaries, uh, one bright one, but, um, yeah, with this rain, I think, you know, a lot of things will start changing. And things will change. There's no doubt about it. And, and it sounds like things will change for the better. A lot of folks are looking forward to those tributary opportunities. That's what I'm looking forward to, of course, uh, in between, uh, duck hunts as it stands. Uh, okay. So what is your... What, what is it that you're looking forward to right now? Is it going to be fall Chinook uh, in those tributaries? Are you guys already uh, getting excited about our upcoming winter steelhead season? Uh, but you still got a little bit of time to mess around with those bigger fish. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, steelhead, you know, we've got that. And that that's always, you know, that's probably, probably my favorite thing, you know, because you never know what cast you're going to be able to catch a 20-pounder. And that's, that's the... That's the glory of the steelhead for me anyway. But, yes, um, tugging on these big kings. We've got some time left, so definitely definitely going to be after yeah, after some kings here for a little while. For your clients, as you go forward, it's strictly going to be a drift boat thing. Uh, and for folks that are watching that might want to uh, get out there and do some fishing with you, is that what they're going to be able to look forward to with Big Dave uh, up until after the first of the year? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Well, I'll, pretty, I'll probably in this boat i'll probably fish in the bay another 
little bit here, another day or two or so, just kind of see how it goes. But yeah, pretty, pretty quick here. I'll just be strictly on a drug test. Well, and there's different ways that folks can always follow along with what Big Dave is doing. But I know that uh, you and your good friend Nick got the, the Catch Zone app that's been out there is becoming very, very popular. Uh, but as the seasons change, right, as we start seeing, you know, focus on different areas that people are going to be chasing salmon, then ultimately, uh, of course, steelhead, that Catch Zone app, that actually does help out quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, and, uh, you know, I mean, if you're looking for a place to fish, just, just knowledge of... of you know, the weather, I mean, our weather page is incredible with river levels, tide swells. We have some updates that are going to be happening, too. We're going to have bar reports, and we're also going to have the buoy readings. Um, we've got our tides also will be out 30 days instead of three days. So um, some cool things. Mapping, too. Um, we're updating the map. That will be a little bit, but we're going to have a really, really neat map. Um, real awesome map, like very detailed and yeah, so it's going great. We've got about 5,000 active users now, so more stuff coming. We'll keep you updated on um, any new things that we're doing, but yeah, it's going great. Yeah, and, uh, from the response that we've gotten from a lot of folks that, that have your app and that, that actually utilize it, being able to interact with others and find out what's going on in a different way has been really, really cool for folks. But Dave, for folks that are watching now that are traditionally fishing in the bays up and down the coast this time of year into November, um, would you say that they have something to look forward to in the next week or two uh, in the bays? Oh. Again, not necessarily your bay, but the other up and down uh, of the coast as well. And, and how should they be targeting them as we get into November? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, even where I fish, I mean, there'll be a guy out there Thanksgiving and catch catching fish. And there'll be three boats or two boats and, and uh, They'll fish, obviously, they go up to the rivers. Well, they got to swim through all these bays before they go up the river. So they're just not going to hold as much. You know, they're not going to flush in and out. They're just going to come through. So if you're fishing in, you know, areas where they're channeled, the mouths of rivers, things like that, where you know that they're swimming through, um, you can definitely have some great success still trolling late. Um, water temperature, you know, watch your water temperature. Uh, as it gets colder, then, it, you know, it'll start going back to more baits and, and spin fish and brads and things like that, um, where, you know, your spinner bite might not be, you know, what it was a month and a half ago. So you start kind of playing with that. But for sure, plenty of opportunity uh, to still fish out in these bays. And, you know, you've got some, got some crab still around, too. So you got that, too. How's the crabbing been? We got that report, or that report, that question uh, for you this morning on our Facebook page. How's the crabbing been overall? Yeah, it's uh, not bad, not bad. Decent, decent grabbing. Um, yeah, you know, as this rain comes, that will, you know, depend a little bit. It can't flush them out if you get a lot of lot of water in there. But yes, uh, as of now, the crabbing has been good. Yeah, he just makes a great point, everyone. When those bays fill up with fresh water, it makes the crabbing very difficult as it gets uh, more salt water back in as those rivers start to fall. Then, of course, it improves. But it's October, for crying out loud, going into November. Ends with an R. <laughs> it's the time to go after if you want to chase crab. Uh, Dave, for folks that are watching and want to get out with you this upcoming season, I'm assuming that you're probably booked for Fall Chinook. But uh, when you're talking about steelhead, uh, for you and your crew of guys, how are you looking? Can they still get out with you and chase some steelhead along the coast? Yeah, you bet. Give us a call, and, and you know what? We've got a few great guys that work for me and Nick, and we can uh, we can find you a spot. Um, our boats are probably getting a little bit full. Um, but, yeah, give us a call. You never know. We get cancellations. And, and uh, you know, peaking even forward than that, springers for me in May and June, um, that'd be something you might want to call and get in on, too. If you can get out with them, everyone, in a drift boat for steelhead, just do it, because I can't. I've tried. I mean, you might. But I can't get out with him for crying well, out loud. Well, you're always done. I, I, I can't even get Pop off to return you're a call for crying out loud. <laughs> we'll get you, man. <laughs> I love you, bud. Dave, thanks for the information. I appreciate it. The viewers always appreciate it. Have, have some fun out there. Good luck. And I look forward to talking with you as things change in November and December. All righty. Thanks, partner. All right, everyone. That's Big Dave Manners. If you ever want to stay at one of the coolest places ever, Look him up. He's the owner of Wilson River Lodge. It's one of the nicest places you can stay right outside of Tillamook there, right on the river itself. It's beautiful. Uh, and maybe you get to go do some fishing uh, at the same time. All right, let's cut to a break. When we come back, we're going to have the deal of the week for you from Fisherman's Marine. And it is a vast, 
deal of the week. Can I say that, Ryan? Is that fair? It's a big one. We'll be back with that in just a minute.